Hello and welcome to this new series called Junk Journal Snacks. This is Barbara from Vienna, Austria and this series is going to be a continuation of my ASMR videos which seem to have been quite controversial so I decided to go with this voiceover version only from now on. I'm still continuing to work in this beautiful handmade journal by Nadia. Again, her link to her Instagram is listed below in the description box in case you want such a beautiful journal that I have bought from her. I'm looking for the page I want to work on, which was this one. And for this page, I wanted to include a photo that I have already edited which is a photo of my favorite tree in the botanical garden which is in walking distance from my flat. I kind of wanted to honor this tree because I love it so much. It looks so cool. I know you can't really see it well here on the photo but it has branches coming out of the bottom part of the trunk and it just looks really magical almost. For the background I chose this packaging that I had painted first with white gesso then with some jade and lastly with some beautiful bronze gold paint on top. So I just tore a piece of that and that will serve as my background and now I'm using again this beautiful gold powder which I found here in Vienna at a store called Tiger. So they have Flying Tiger and they have Tiger. They do seem to go together. They do have the same T as a logo. I know they have it in some other countries in Europe, but I know one viewer was asking me because she looked for the same powder in her Tiger or Flying Tiger in UK and she could not find it. So I don't know in which countries they have it, but that's where I got it. So I wanted to use this gold paint to kind of stencil a ray of like golden light around this beautiful tree to just make it seem more magical I guess and to just really make it shine I guess. And I didn't do the best job <laughs> on this page with this stencil because I, I did get the top and bottom of the page right but the side just didn't work so well both of the sides because the direction of the rays isn't correct but it's fine because most of the picture and its frame are going to be covering those so in the end you don't really see that a lot so that was fine but still overall I must say this is not one of my favorite pages just from the visual aspect but I do love what it means to me and I will be journaling about that on the left side here in a little bit so now my tree goes on top and I just edited it because I just thought that the original photo with the bright colors just wouldn't work in this journal. So I just wanted to dampen the colors. And now I'm taking one of my watercolor coffee dyed papers. I will link a video showing you how I made these for you in case you haven't seen those. And I'm journaling on this page first by adding the Latin and English name of this tree and it's a Chinese redwood and I'm just quickly journaling about this beautiful tree and the botanical garden. And then I'm just going to glue that on top of this beautiful music paper which was kind of a shame but I could not journal on the music paper. I wouldn't have been able to see my writing. So at least you can see some of it peeking out on the left side. So that was fine. Next, I'm trying to find another page to work on, on which I will be making a collage using a bird from a vintage book. I have this beautiful book here with bird illustrations, which I found at my Goodwill. I have a series of four books. In this style, they are from 1988, published and printed in Prague. And they have the most beautiful bird illustrations. Here I'm just flipping through the pages so you get an idea of what they look like. Absolutely gorgeous. And 
And then I came across this guy here who somehow I haven't seen before. And actually I had already fussy cut some birds that you will see here in a moment. I thought I was going to use some of those. I already spent quite some time fussy cutting these. So you see all of these I had already fussy cut in preparation thinking that I would choose one of these. But after seeing this guy in the book I just had the feeling he's the one I need to work with. He just kind of really jumped at me even though I have some other beautiful, beautiful birds as options. And I've learned this guy in English is called a hoopoo, hopo, hoopoo, something like that. <laughs> in German, the name is Wiederhopf. So I am fussy cutting him, or actually I'm kiss cutting him because I'm not cutting totally all the way to the edge of the image. I'm leaving a small white frame. And here I have a piece of book page where I just brushed on some extra gold that I had on my brush which now serves perfectly as a beautiful piece of a background for this hoopoo <laughs> and I'm also adding another piece of that same watercolor coffee dyed paper I thought that would serve as a nice contrast behind him as well but then it kind of seemed a little bit too busy for me so I wanted to cover a little bit of that busyness up with this beautiful piece of grey textured wallpaper. And I'm also adding this small scrap of the beautiful handmade wallpaper from Honey which she had wrapped her journal in that she had sent me and so here I'm using my top-down gluing method for this little collage so I'm just putting glue on the element that is on top and that way that already connects some of the papers underneath and then I just go around and glue all the other bits to each other Just lifting all the little pieces there and gluing them down. This is really a great gluing method. If you have not tried it out, please do so. And finally, when all those parts are glued together, you just take the whole piece, which is now all connected, and you glue that one piece down to your paper. This just makes it so much easier. You don't have to remember where each piece was. Finally, I'm going to add a sentiment to this. This is from my Sentiments Black printable. I will link that from you. And I decide to take the one which says Limited Edition. I'm just going to cut that out and glue it onto the collage. So these Sunday junk journal snacks are really just meant to be just that it's a snack it's not a full meal it's not a full video it is just inspiration to hopefully get you going to be inspired and motivated to work in your own junk journals maybe just to give you an idea maybe something strikes a chord with you where you think oh this looks nice this looks easy I can totally do something with the materials that I have at hand that's what this series is for I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I'm really enjoying filming in this style and of course not having to worry about any sound around me because you only hear my voice now and the voiceover is of course much easier for me as well. Look how chunky this journal is getting. I'm a bit worried because it's not even a quarter full yet so that's going to be interesting. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Love you guys.